I'm going to show you how to crimp a wire for a car today. And for this, we're going to be using this SNG Tool Aid 18900 series wire crimper. And we're going to be using it install bay um, vinyl butt connectors. These come in different colors. As you can see here, I have red and blue. There's also a yellow. And the colors correspond to the wire sizes they can be used with. These red butt connectors are designed to be used for 22 or to 18 gauge wire, whereas these blue ones are designed to be used for 16 to 14 gauge wire. Additionally, I'm gonna be using these, I believe, Kronos wire strippers that I purchased from Radio Shack over a decade ago, and I'm just using those to strip this wire over here for demonstration purposes. And then we're gonna cut it in half. We're going to strip a small amount of wire, just enough to fit inside the butt connector. I'm going to do the same on the other piece. And I'm going to twist it by hand. Try and focus, but... If you look at the wire crimper, you'll notice there are three colored dots. These colored dots correspond to the different size of butt connectors that you can crimp with it. In this case, we're gonna place the red butt crimper, or butt crimp thing, in the jaw where the red mark is. And again, I'm gonna set the camera down while I do that, it's a two-hand process. I should also mention these crimpers are ratcheting. They don't release until you have fully set the crimp tool. That makes it possible to load a butt connector in the crimp tool and not have it slide out as the ends are just a little bit larger. So it can kind of just sit there, it's nice. Now what we need to do is placed the wires we want to crimp in both ends. Just like so. And yes, this can be kind of a pain. Usually it helps to have a friend. Center the connector in the crimp tool and squeeze until it releases. Now you have a nice strong crimp. I can't pull that out by hand. And I'll show you my friend, Cliff, pulling on a crimp that we did for real on an oxygen sensor with all of his strength. And he was not able to pull it out. This is the crimp I did on Cliff's car. For the oxygen sensor? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm pulling pretty much as hard as I can and those aren't coming apart. This type of joint is the recommended way to join wires inside of a car or other application where there's a lot of vibration. Don't use soldering, as the solder will weaken with age and vibration. This, however, will remain strong. 